everyone. So this is a video um, explaining how to do example two on the 7.3 day two worksheet. Um, and it says, find the standard equation of a circle um, that passes through three given points. So here they give you the standard equation of the circle. Um, and the first thing that you're gonna do is use each of these points as an X and a Y. Um, and you're gonna fill the X values into the X's in the standard equation and the y values into the y's, and then we're gonna come up with three separate equations. So the first equation is gonna be using the point one comma one. So for the point one comma one, I'm just gonna plug it in. One squared plus one squared. So I'm plugging that in for x and for y. Plus a times one, plus b times one, plus c is equal to zero. I'm going to simplify this, um, so it's going to be 2 uh, plus a plus b plus c equals 0. Okay, um, next I'm going to use the point negative 2 comma 4. And I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to plug in negative 2 for the x's and 4 for the y's. When I simplify that, I'm going to get 2 squared, which is 4, plus 4 squared, which is 16. So that's going to give me 20. Minus 2a plus 4b plus c is equal to 0. And then I'm going to use my third point, which is 5 comma 5. Again, I'm going to substitute this in for the x and for the y. And then I'm going to simplify. So 5 squared plus 5 squared is going to be 50. Plus 5a plus 5b plus c is equal to 0. So now I'm going to take each of these equations and I'm going to put them in standard form by taking the 2, the 20, and the 50 and just moving them over. Um, and I'm going to call this equation a, equation b, and equation C. Okay, so now I have three equations and three unknowns. So this first equation is going to become A plus B plus C is equal to negative 2. The second equation is going to be negative 2A uh, plus 4B plus C is equal to negative 20. And then the third equation is going to be 5A plus 5b plus c, and that's equal to negative 50. Okay, so now this is a system of equations that I know how to solve. Um, I'm going to try and eliminate one of the variables. Notice that c is the easiest variable to eliminate because none of the equations have any coefficient in front of c besides 1. Um, so first what I'm going to do is choose a and b. So equations A and equation B. And I'm going to multiply equation B by a negative 1. I'm going to keep A the same. So this is going to become 2A minus 4B minus C is equal to 20. And the whole point of this is so that I can add them together and get equation D, which is going to cause the C's to subtract and equal zero. Um, so this is gonna get me 3a minus 3b is equal to 18. And there's my equation b. Okay. Next, I'm gonna have to use two other equations, so a and c or b and c, to try and get another equation um, that only has a and b in it. So let's use a again, and then we'll use c. Um, so here, I'm going to write this down here. So I'm going to use A and C 
This time I'm going to multiply a by negative 1. So I get negative a minus b minus c equals 2. And then for c, I'm just going to leave it as is. 5a plus 5b plus c equals negative 50. All right, and I add these two together. Um, I'm going to get 4a plus 4b is equal to negative 48. I'm going to call this equation E. Now that I have equations B and E, I can use them to now eliminate A or B. Um, and now I can solve for one of the variables. So notice that I'm going to have to do something to both B and E, those two equations, in order to cancel out, um, you know, the A's or the B's. Um, so here, what I'm going to do is multiply B by 4 and multiply E by 3. And here I'm going to wind up, um, because B has a negative in front here and B has a positive in front there, they're going to subtract out. So, 4 times 3, that gives me 12a minus 12b is equal to, let's see, 36 times 2, so 72. And then um, here, it's going to give me 12a plus 12b is equal to, and I'm multiplying 48 times 3, so that's 1. 44. Negative. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to see that these subtract out. I'm going to get 24a is equal to 144 minus 72. So that's going to give me. Uh, 72, negative, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 24, and I'm going to get that A is equal to negative 3. Okay, once I figure out that A is equal to negative 3, I'm going to go back to equation B and substitute negative 3 in for A. So, equation B has 3 times negative 3. Minus 3b is equal to 18. Let me get down a little bit. I get negative 9 minus 3b is equal to 18. So negative 3b is equal to 27. And b is equal to 9. Negative 9. Okay. Now that I have A and I have B, I'm going to use equation A, uh, which is A plus B plus C is equal to negative 2, and I'm going to solve for C. So here I'm going to substitute negative 3 plus negative 9 plus C is equal to negative 2. Now I just have one more variable to find. So I get C equal to positive 10. Now the final thing I need to do is fill this back into the standard equation of the circle. So my standard equation is x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by plus c equals 0. Now I'm just going to fill everything in. x squared plus y squared minus 3x minus 9y uh, plus 10 is equal to 0. And that is my equation of the circle, and we're done.